Now, I know that the government are very keen to get uh, a lot of learning disabled adults out of residential care into places like this. And it, it is a very good idea, I know. Um, how do you persuade the residential homes to let them? Right, I think what has to happen is that the individuals, um, ha they have to contact the care coordinator, the mm. social worker, and discuss it with them, that they have um, heard of a facility. I mean, I would suggest when they hear of us to come and see us. Yeah, of course. <laughs> come and visit us, come and have a look around, come mm. and see what we're offering. Mm -hmm. um, the next um, course of action would be to um, get a hold of your care coordinator, social worker, mm. that you found this place that you would like. Yeah, there is a, a new thing that each of the residents now are going to have to have their own, um, now what do they call it? It's an advocate right. um, who's going to speak for them. Right. Uh, and that would be a good person. Yes, yes definitely. To approach as yeah, well. Yeah, if they've got an advocate, that is even, yes, whoever, yeah. you know, mm. that they are close to, mm -hmm. um, or even homes who feel they have got clients that they think, and they hear about us and they mm. think, oh, I've got somebody that I think would be better placed with Pam at at Cascade, because we call the apartments Cascade. Right. Just so exactly. that I, I clear that. We, we call the apartments Cascade and it's Autistic Living Solutions. The reason being for our clients, mm -hmm. Autistic Living Solutions is a long sentence. Cascade, is... it, it's easier, it's warmer, and the clients yeah. that we have now, they say it very easily when they're talking to family, I'm at yeah, Cascade, so and it's got... You know, it's people easy. Will know yes. the ring of yes. it. Yes. Um, is it purely um, autistic people, or are you going to open the spectrum? We're opening the spectrum. Um, autism is a very, very loose term. Yes, <laughs> and it yes. varies considerably. So mm. what we are actually saying is autism and learning disabilities, disabilities. because it is very, very difficult to specifically mm -hmm. pinpoint and just yeah. say we're yeah. only going to do autism yeah. because the spectrum is um, yeah. right. vast. What about someone with say uh, schizophrenia? Would they find it possible? Uh, I would, that's a difficult one. I think we would have to um, discuss and look at that and assess it mm -hmm. as, the, as we were referring to really. Yes, yes. yes. Um, Down syndrome. Uh, yeah, you see, it, it's, 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 very it's very interesting because um, schizophrenia, people used to say autism years and years ago yeah. was what? schizophrenia. Yeah. Yeah? yeah, and then you're asking about a Down's. Well, I know. Downs people with autism, uh, so you've it's got very, some. very. We're very, very open. What I will say is that the reason we have opened is because we want to help adults, yes. young adults mm -hmm. in this area who are not being Helps. given the chances that they could be given uh, to get a bit of independence, yes. self-respect yes. into their lives. Yes but not to do it totally alone. No, no, to no. Because I think that, I don't think a lot of them could do it on their own. No. And I think out there it's very, very hard for anybody, but I think with the support, a lot of them can flourish. Yes. I, I know part of the difficulty is, um, I, I suppose we, we blanket it under mental illness. Yes. And people are afraid of mental illness. I don't yes. know why they think yes. it's catchy. Yes. And um, yes. Yes. if you're a little bit different, yes. Yes. <laughs> I have seen outside, yes. Yes. people can be cruel. Yes. So they need somewhere that yeah. they, they can. can and that, but, but I think there's another side that we've found. Hey, if you take them out into the community and they're mm. seen to be doing 
the things that we all do, the shopping. And take for granted. And they're doing it regularly, mm -hmm. which is what's happening with us. Yes. People are getting to know them. And, and uh, they're saying hello, and they know the names of some of our clients now. And they're accepting them. That's good. And once they're accepted, it's, it's marvellous how you can get mm. them to um, flourish. Be, be, yeah. Yeah. Flourish. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I always think it's also a good idea to catch them young. Maybe um, yeah. some sort of cooperation between here and the school, mm. uh, particularly the high school. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, perhaps if uh, the kids could come in and yeah. see what yeah. is done and, mm. and perhaps volunteer to help out in that, some way. Yeah. I mean, I, I think any um, cooperation. And any mixing and meetings and showing or anything that we can all do together to show that these vulnerable people are quite able in a lot of ways to mix mm. in the community. And, and they've and got help. feelings the same yeah. as you and I. Mm. I mean, so mm. <laughs> you can hurt them just as well. Yeah. Just because it looks, they might look a bit different, talk differently, mm -hmm. anything else. Um, have you got any, I mean, you're up and running now. Yes, you are yes, we are. Now. We got registered with the Care Quality Commission in May mm -hmm. and we got our accreditation through with East Riding Council on Monday. Right, and, and you have clients We have here. clients now, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, we have clients now, yes. Have, yeah, <laughs> yes. Has it taken you long to set this up and get it going? Yes, it has. <laughs> it's taken before, I think before May, uh, when we got commissioned, probably... Mm -hmm. 18 months, two years of getting everything, yes, so, organised, yes, yes, but it's been a, 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 a passion that I felt for a lot of years, even though my son was settled, I watched and watched and kept thinking, something will come into these ridings, something, somebody will open, and it never happened, and yeah. We've opened it now, yeah. and we really do need people to use it. Yeah, you can wait forever for somebody else to do something, yeah. but if you really feel passionate, you've just got to get on and do it yourself. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Well, one thing, uh, because they are vulnerable people, mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming that your staff will all be CRB checked. Oh and, yes, and yes, Clover yes. Oh yes. <laughs> no, not even. Yes, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I, I definitely. know that was very important yes. before I could start yes. myself. Yeah, we do not start with us until. And training is ongoing, as I say, with autism, with all mm. of it. That we've got an on tra ongoing training program. Is, is that in house or? Do uh, you some of it we've got. Um, some of it's in house. Some of it's out. Uh, yes, at various. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this has just got to be such a lovely place. I mean, they've got a view of the sea out of the kitchen window. I think, Paula. I think <laughs> it's. I know you, we're with and see, but just because we're just set back a bit, it's relaxing for them. Very relaxing. And the one thing most autistic people, and it's, it, it, very, it shouldn't generalise, but the calmness. Yes. And that's what we want to have the vision of here, that it's their home, mm -hmm. but because it's set out how it is, it's calm. And they they like a routine yes. as well. They like yes. things yes. that yeah. and they, run along. They, the, the, that's right. Each <laughs> has their, 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 their own individual plan, and each day and the, the ones the residents we've got at the moment they they you know they know how and, to and, and it works. This. And obviously, if with autism, if there has to be a change, which sometimes changes happen, you must. The best thing really is to try and explain the day Thank before you. that somebody's not member staff's not going to be there mm -hmm. or we can't yeah. do swimming because the swimming bath's closed or full part but it really is common sense so it's they really, don't feel that they're being yeah, punished that's right well. it's that's really listening to them mm -hmm. talking to them and yeah it, uh, being led by them in yes, a way, yeah. it, it is very much uh, yeah, led yeah, by the clients yeah, yeah. rather than yeah. uh, the staff here yes. leading them. Yeah. But that's uh, that's probably the other thing which is different between residential yes, and supported yes. living. Mm -hmm. Here, um, they have the choice. Their planner that they do is mm -hmm. put together 
um, by myself and the family with choices that we know they want to do. So uh, yeah. some of them don't like Bridlington, it's too noisy, yes. and yet we've got one young man that likes it. So oh. we wouldn't say to the ones that don't like, like we're all going to Bridlington today. No, it doesn't no. work like that. They all choose what they want to do. Uh -huh. And at the moment, the three, they, they interlink on some things, but not and then other time. things, which is what we all do. Mm -hmm. so of course. You know, we don't all do the same things all mm. the time. Have they got some in-house activities that go on? Yes, yes, yes. As well? yes. Uh, yeah. Do you yeah. have sort of games night? Yes, <coughs> yeah, yeah. We do Enter. all sorts of different things, yes. I mean, the swimming and they go across to the leisure centre and they do botcher at the Jack Geddle Centre and uh, we're building up. Yes. yes, as you say, it's getting them out into the community, yes. letting people meet them, get yes. to know them. Yes, definitely. It's, uh, <laughs> it sounds absolutely amazing. Well, um, yes, we're <laughs> open. <laughs> uh, I wish you so much luck Thank and you. I'm sure that it's going to be an asset for the town and Thank it'll you. be very good for the residents as well. Thank you. Thank you.